Good morning. It's just gone 7 a.m. I'm climbing Mount Bogong today, highest point in the great state of Victoria. I'm taking the staircase spur track. It's not super long. It's probably six or seven kilometers, but the thing is I'm going to gain over a thousand meters, hopefully by lunchtime. And I am super excited. Looks like a beautiful day. They say only fools and flatlanders predict weather in the mountains, but looks pretty good to me. Here I am on the lower slopes, very thickly wooded here. All native species, lots of gums, but very, very thick. <laughs> I can see why they call this the staircase track. It's incredibly steep, as I expected. Uh, almost like a staircase, but all good. The going's very good, lots of rock steps, wooden steps. That's not too muddy. So hopefully we'll be at Bivouac Hut for morning tea, hopefully around nine o'clock. And um, yeah, summit by lunchtime and back down to the bottom by beer o'clock. Been going about an hour now, and I can already see how the vegetation's starting to change. When I started, it was really thick, bushy vegetation, and up here is much more of the tall timber. It's really starting to thin out. You can see a bit further. The trees are tall. It's magnificent. Just in a bit of a saddle here, and I can see out on both sides, I can just start to see the, the clear summit of Bogong out to my right, and then some other hills out to my left. But the vegetation's changed again up here. I mean, a bit further down, it was really stringy bark, and up here, the, the gums, still incredibly tall, but more of a soft bark. It keeps changing all the time. So I've just arrived at Bivouac Hut, about halfway up to the Bogong Summit, and it really is such a beautiful spot here. I'm going to stop. Might uh, be a good opportunity for a cuppa and a bit of morning tea. Get the kettle on.
bivouac hut stop really is nothing better than a cup of coffee and a sticky bun. So that stop at bivouac hut was absolutely magnificent. Uh, it was about two hours from the beginning and I believe that is around about halfway. So we've got about two hours and I should be talking to you from the summit. rocky steps here that's why they call it the staircase this is a change of vegetation again we've gone from the tall gums with the soft bark much more fine trees here it's almost like a tea tree very thin very short but we're getting much more into that alpine type vegetation but yeah it keeps changing here really making some progress now i can see far enough to see over the valley where Tawonga is and, and or mount beauty it's a fantastic site all right check this out we're about three hours in we're heading this way up around this corner There's our first, first view of the Bogong summit in the distance. The vegetation is different again up here. There's not much that's taller than me now. And we're getting into that area where it's sort of, well, eventually that'll just become grasses and wildflowers. But up here, there's still a little bit of bush, but the ground, it's much more stony, much more rocky. I'm watching every step. Don't want to roll an ankle at this point. And this looks like the point I've been waiting for where the trees finish. We're just like in the grassland. There are no more trees beyond this. Just a few. <laughs> it's a real alpine, alpine area up here. No more trees. And up ahead here we have the snow poles to follow. Uh, it's late April now. And in a couple of months in June, it, this will be under meters of snow so we have these snow poles to follow if you're coming up in the winter months if you're brave enough come up in the winter months just taking a moment whenever i stop i just realize how quiet it is up here the kind of quiet that you never hear in your normal life it really is incredible
feel like I'm getting to the business end now. It's just been scrambling over a lot of rocks. If you look back up there, that's what lies ahead. So, yeah, probably another another hour and I'll be at the summit. Terrific. A little memorial here back in 1943 three skiers perished up here Gadsden Welch and McRae I panic when I haven't got mobile phone signal up here you can imagine 80 years ago they would have felt incredibly isolated up here really in the home stretch now on the ridge line between um, the Eskdale Spur and Staircase Spur. My bogong stop ahead of me. I can just see the can of rocks in the distance. And you wouldn't believe it. I was struggling up the hill there and across the ridge line. A couple of joggers. <laughs> wow. Some people are amazing. There we are, made it. Highest point in the magnificent state of Victoria, just a, a tick under 2,000 meters high. So all the rivers and everything's all, all below us from here. And the walk up here was just brilliant. The scenery is amazing. And like magic, I'm back at Bivouac Hut, having a lunch break here. <clears throat> Probably about an hour and a half to go, um, but it was magnificent to be to be up the top today. I'm completely in my element out here. Feel like I really belong. <laughs> We've been going about five and a half hours now, and uh, starting to get a bit tired, I suppose. But uh, yeah, starting to look forward to the end. But it's just been magnificent. Oh well, leaving Bivouac Hut now right, for the final, final movement. Back down to the starting point at Mountain Creek Road. I'll be sorry to see the end of it, that's for sure.
And just like that, we're back at the start. I'll admit I was getting pretty tired toward the end there. I'm very happy to be finished. <laughs> but what a great day out. Time for a beer, I think.